Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. On September 10th, 2019, a US-led coalition conducted airstrikes against an ISIS-infested island in Iraq in order to deny what had become a safe haven for the terror group, according to Operation Inherent Resolve. US F-15 and F-35 aircraft dropped 80,000 pounds of munitions in a coordinated, simultaneous time-on-target strike. Located in the Salah ad Din province, province north of Baghdad. Major General Eric Hill said, we're denying Daesh the ability to hide on Canis Island. And you guys have asked us to reenact it. So, first of all, we do not have Iraq in DCS, so we're doing Syria instead. Canis Island, my apologies for the pronunciation, is going to be this island here. It is the correct 1.5 miles in length. On it are a set of nominal targets. The first thing to happen, guys, is a flight of F-35As will take off from over 100 miles away, each equipped with four 2,000-pound INS GPS-guided JDAM bombs. They will be AI-flown, traverse their waypoints, and critically hold at steer point four, which will be on an initial point ring 20 miles from the target and wait for further orders. We, meanwhile, will be flying a series of 4th gen bombers. Why 4th gen rather than 5th gen is because they're just modelled more highly in our sim. We have F-15Es as used in the actual strike, again with JDAM's 500 pound GBU 38s, uh, 9 each. Hornets, which did not take part in the real raid, but we can use them today with 8 JDAMs and F-16s carrying a measly four JDAMs. As I expect probably happened in real life, guys, we will set our bombs up on the ground. While we wait for the F-35s to get airborne, we will then follow them up and then get to the IP circle. We will spread out on different radials around the IP circle. I'll do my ready checks and when everyone is ready to attack, I will issue orders to the F-35s to attack. At that point, we all leave our IP radial towards target and drop all of our JDAMs on our designated targets on that initial pass. The beautiful thing about a time on target strike viewers is it's a very efficient way of neutralizing a target because all bombs drop at once, the target does not have the ability to respond. Once bombs are dropped 100 miles back to base and land, threats are minimal. Floor today is 20,000 feet, so we're not a target for man pads and cannon fire. It sounds easy to do, but in reality, it's actually quite hard to do a time on target strike. Predictions, how are we going to do today? Things go boom. Hmm. Things go boom, we do violently, we finish the job. What would be an acceptable standard for time on target, plus or minus 30 seconds? We've got a few ex-RAF pilots in GR, and they usually say 20 to 30 seconds is acceptable time on target. So let's try and stick to 20 to 30 seconds, guys. Welcome in, viewers. First, we need to set our aircraft up, so let's get that done. So, ferocious aircon off, radar on, master arm on, because I will forget it later, air to ground on, I'm going to hop in the back seat, I'm going to turn my teapot on, pip. The next thing we need to do, viewers, is set our bombs up. Our bombs are INS GPS guided, and we actually set them up before the mission, as probably happens in most real life missions. So, um, let's get started on that. The first thing I have to do is convert my myriad of steer points into target points. It's laborious, but it's how you do it in an F-15. So. Steer point one, convert that to steer point one target point with one dot. Poof, name menu, load steer point two. Convert steer point two into target point two with a dot. And I'm going to do that for all nine steer points for me. I now have nine target points. I'm going to select target point one as my first bomb to go out. Next, we need to input those target point informations into the bombs themselves. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to go here. So, target point one into bomb one. Next station, target point two into bomb two. Again, laborious and very easy to mess up, which always worries me in an F-15, but I guess that's why you have a rear seater, so we can concentrate on doing this. All right, viewers, that is nine bombs all set up. Do my sanity checks. Sanity checked. Right, now set a bomb program up to deploy the bombs. 
check all are standby and ready standby ready ready standby 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 all good direct mode step nose tail fusing that's that down get my tsd ready i'll probably have my teapot i know there's no air to air targets right cap declaring ready i think do my sanity checks Nice ready drums ready Cannonball ready. Boost ready. Thimbers ready. Roger. In that case, guys, if you want to listen to some American Freedom, I suggest Canopy Open. I know it's not SOP, but it is very good. Need the more than harder cap. Hello, Fat Amy. In real life, the F-35 and the F-15E were the ones to take in this particular mission. So we're doing it pretty realistically. They look so small compared to. Them. They're tiny, aren't they? In real life, mm -hmm. the news article said they dropped laser-guided bombs, but personally I doubt that, or maybe they were laser INSGBS-guided bombs, more likely. There she going. I could watch that all day, guys. Alright guys, start taxiing from right to left. Oh, you're already doing it. Off you go. Don't forget to put your canopies down. F-16 up. Bugazi rolling. Uh, Pushin is beautiful. Livery, that's my favourite. It's so good. Next fly. Fly in his. Dark's rolling. Guys, this is amazingly civilized. Simmer's going, caps rolling. I think this is going to be one of those amazing missions we do where nothing goes wrong. I know I shouldn't have said that, but... Oh, Cap, sorry. Uh, sorry. Whoopsie. I always say stupid stuff. Did I crash now? Or I always say anything, nothing goes wrong. Then Cap is around again. If you can, stay with the F-35s. If they're too fast, don't bother. They're carrying less bombs than us, obviously. Carrying less quantity, but they're carrying less quality. Here we go. I'm um, using some new rudder pedals for the first time, and um, they're very good, but getting used to them is always hard, as you all know. Oh, what rudder pedals, yeah? Uh, the new ones from Wing Wing uh, Skywalker. Mm -hmm. They feel very different, so I'm trying to get all my muscle memory working. I'm just uh, got my purples repaired, and I'm very happy now. Roger, what was wrong? Uh, one bearing was uh, broken because Roger. of my weight Roger. I hit before. Uh, keep your nav lights on, guys. Um, I know they wouldn't do in real life, but to help my old man eyes. Old Mark One eyeballs. Mm -hmm. Right, there's Cannonball in his lovely new livery. Thanks again to fly. Yep. Always. Right, we are 75 nautical miles away from target viewers. I'm just going to have a look on the cheat map just to see where everyone is. Yeah, we're pretty much all together now. F-35s climbing. Does anyone know their speed? Uh, looks to be around 475. Roger. Taking the red uh, wing, I take the left wing, Simba. <laughs> oh, they're climbing a bit. Wow, wait, look at that! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, AI flying. Oh, look at that! <laughs> Simba, she heard that in the bench before. Neat! <laughs> to be honest, it's kind of realistic. Uh, I, I, as I said, I live next to a base of F 35s and F 15Es. I'm kind of lucky, really. 
and that is exactly how the F-35s fly. The F-15Es fly really boringly. These guys just fly like frigging complete jocks. I mean, yes. Yeah. They do it as well. They wait until the cloud cover, like today, and they do it above the clouds. But I can hear them. I can hear them doing loops and stuff. Alright guys, finally I'm arriving. So now we're doing a nice sandwich here. Huh? You are doing a nice uh, sandwich. Not too close. That's going to make a brilliant yeah, thumbnail. Yeah. Because AI indeed. I see my shadow on Betty's fuselage. Beautiful liveries there, guys. Look at that. Flying is German livery. Is that the... It's not the Air Force, is it? That's like the... Is that the stunt team? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Vikings. It's actually Marine uh, Air Force. Roger. I still think it's funny you guys have a Marine Air Force. I mean, how much coast have you got? Like, 50 miles? Yeah, but coastal defense more. Like, Navy, Air Force. Uh, they were equipped uh, in that time. We had, they had that aerobatics team. They were equipped with 104s yep. with a Comoran anti-ship missile. Yep. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I heard they uh, keep their Marines in case the British want to go for round three. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> the size of our army, I very much doubt it. In Britain, we're having all kinds of problem hiring for army. No one wants to be a soldier anymore or, or armed forces in general. But you guys aren't so hot yourselves at the moment, Floy. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Oh, particularly hip. We rely on our cousins across the ocean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. bring it up the rear. But we're building up again. Oh, that sounds ominous. <laughs> <laughs> when did I hear that? 1936. And demonetized. We're going to call this an aeroport? Visual on the target island. Simba. All to the right. To the left. Guys. What I'm going to ask you to do now is to move out formation, nice bit of formation there. Once you're out formation, have a quick check on your, on your cheat map. Select yourself a radial and go to that radial. Not all in the south, because that's where the F-35s are going. If you want to see can the boom I boom, set your G-Bods up. Can I climb up and jet across the top? Off he goes. Bye-bye, Fat Amy. You very costly way of delivering a bomb. Simba's found the island. There it is, viewers. Uh, I've already got it queued up in my teapot for y'all. So we can see stuff. I've just put nominal targets in there. I didn't really want to bomb infantry, even though I'm not that distasteful. Or well, maybe I am, I don't know. But Yeah, I wanted to ask you. you yeah, uh, I'm, I'm getting soft now. I've got a baby. I'm getting soft. I'm, I don't actually like bombing infantry anymore. I used to love it. Too old, too soft. I have, I have changed. I 100% agree, guys. Yeah, Cap, you changed everyone telling me. <laughs> I watched some of the old Green Beret children videos. Oh, couldn't do it anymore, guys. It's not fair. Mm -hmm. Talk about the real mission. Uh, you guys probably know more about it than me. I only just found out about it, but it was a, a, a staging post. ISIS used it as a staging post for attacks because it was, had very thick vegetation, kind of like Vietnam-esque, where they would become impossible to see. And so I think what USAP did was just carpet bomb it so that it couldn't be used. You know, almost kind of Agent Orange you get. Cannonball. Go to the nine o'clock position if you look at your pocket map. Push. You go to about 10. Fly. Go to the 12 o'clock position. Dark. Yep. Go to somewhere between one and two o'clock. What about me? You go to three o'clock. Cap three o'clock. No. You can pull a 180 and go somewhere around seven o'clock. One of you is diving, and whoever's diving, man pad, man pad, man pad. Stay above 20,000 feet. Cap is on station at 3 o'clock. Keep your orbit type, guys. You don't want to stray from the 20 mile marker. Um, you can see there, viewers, I'm 20 miles away from the target. Keep that below 22 if possible, above 18. I'm going to start talking about the ingress, guys. When we do do it, it wants to be between 20 and 25,000 feet if you can please, so we're at the same altitude. We'll do an ingress speed of 400 knots, Cass. When I do ask you to go, it's quite hard to keep it 20 miles, I noticed. I'm in an 80 degree bank. I'm gonna start doing ready checks just to see roughly where people are. Grump. Ready. Poosh. Ready. Simba. Ready. Cannonball. Uh, yep. Ready. I'm ready. I would like Cannonball and Grump to 
slightly separate. All right. I'm gonna. You guys set the six o'clock. So and Cannonball can slightly slide to this closer to the seven. I'll come back to you two. Dark. All set. Fly. Ready. All right, Grump and Cannonball. Let me know when you're happy, and then I'll uh, push the button. I'm happy. Turn us in. Grump's never happy. I'm waiting on Grump. Let's go. Well, let's go. All right, guys. Everyone, turn in in three, two, one. Now, expedite the turn in as not to. Oh my God! I'm into the sun. That's typical. No, it's okay. Twenty-two thousand feet. Aim for uh, four hundred knots. TMR. One minute twenty seconds. Sorry, not TMR. T release. I'll keep that updated. Here we go, viewers. I can't show you the map because I don't want to mess this up. Time to release. One minute, seven seconds. How am I at 30 seconds? Uh, your bomb, your system may be different. Uh, what's your uh, distance to target, Grump? 16. Mine's 17, so I guess drop when I drop, Grump. Copy. 400 knots, 23,000 feet. In range but holding, 40 seconds. Yeah, that's all work on and the drop. That's all work on the F-15E as a drop mule. Autopilot going on. Time to release. 29 seconds, 23,000 feet. Okay, 400 knots, 20 seconds, time to release. 10 seconds, time to release. Five, four, three, two, one, mark. Arms away. Cap Winchester. All right, viewers. Hi, First bomb's rocking in. I'll just watch from this for you. Here we go, viewers. Has it worked? Yes. Has it worked? So we want to be within the we want to be within the 30 second limit. Stick to RAF protocol. Right, and there. Here we go. Here we go. First bomb. Boom boom. Hack started. Oh, oh my god. Oh. oh, that is beautiful. Glorious. Ach du lieber. More, 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 as my baby would say. Rob splash times eight. Oh, someone messed up. Someone got all their bombs on one target. Ah, oh, never mind. These things happen. Good enough, guys. Good enough, as they say. It wasn't perfect, viewers, but, you know, it was pretty decent. I think probably our bombs going in now. Everyone got their target in right apart from man number three who dropped them all on one target. But otherwise, everyone got all of their nominal targets. That within, was I didn't watch the timer, but I'm guessing about 40 seconds. Is that my lot? Yeah. Oh, more coming. More coming. Already half of the island is burning. Mm -hmm. It's something real Air Force guys would train a lot to get that right. So, you know, as an ad hoc mission, guys, not too bad. Right. Well, that's our bombing. Uh, of the island um i'm gonna go and quickly visualize it with my eyes and then we'll head home guys um i haven't given you a steer point uh, just use a b point or whatever the hell the bog uses look at that viewers island bombed the best we could 15 just shift b got nothing else to do but get home and land so i guess the last one there's a rotten egg in fact we might as well do a formation landing for the lulls for the viewers yeah so, seven of pushing around all eight targets destroyed. Yeah, six targets destroyed. Six? I missed fly. three. Uh, fly, seven targets destroyed. Oh, damn it. Four targets destroyed, and dark, one target destroyed. Dark! I, I, I don't want to be oh. the boy, yeah. Dark! I, at least one more red cap. <laughs> yeah, I got six. I don't know what went wrong, guys. I think. I, I swear I programmed them right. Okay, I would say all gather around cap. Ah, I just got another one! Another one just came in! Seven! I'm Bring flying. It. I'm doing with you, Fly. I think what happened in that case is we just... Some of the targets weren't hit close enough, if you know what I mean. Poosh just got nine. Poosh just got nine. So I think, yeah, our targets are still cooking off. That's what's happening there. When I looked at my TGP, my steer points weren't on targets. I had to adjust. Right, that's why I didn't quite put them on the right targets. Well, that's a mission planner problem. Well, the guy who actually sets these targets before it gets to the aeroplane in the data cartridge, who's that? Am I allowed to know who that is? Is there like a mission planner who does that? Target pilots do it. Yeah, most of the pilots do it. No, I don't mean who adds it to the bomb, but who... What am I trying to say? Yes, the data cartridge, the pilots do it. 
Oh, really? Right. Well, that's the pilot problem in that case, then. Uh, it'd be all the data that's in those cartridges. They're not accurate. Right. Is everybody always blames Intel? Of left cartridge. Everybody, so everybody, everybody bad Intel. Everybody always blames me. Roger, guys. Viewers. Mark 1.83. Right. I've got fuel to burn, so I'm punching it. When you're there, get in a tight left orbit, guys, and we'll do some sexy flying. Oh, I wanted to get it. Yeah, you need afterburner in that Bugazi uh, grump. How come you never learned the F 15E grump? Talk us through the decision making. Been busy. It's hard. It, it is hard. It's also strangely satisfying. Because it's very, um, it's very hands-on. It's not like the bog where you just press two buttons and then the bomb drops. You gotta, you gotta type everything in, which it sounds awkward and it is awkward as hell. But you also get a nice, satisfying thump when you look at the scoreboard and see all those kills. I'll get a red. Good and bad. Actually, yeah, for the same experience with the A10. It's hard to master, but it's uh, very. It's just very too much for me. It's. I find it so bad. different to the other aircraft. I just. Just, do you feel, really? Feel? I can't. Yeah, I can't maintain. It's all the boats, but the boat and the uh, coolie. Oh and, yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't think I would ever learn it if it wasn't the first one that I learned. Yeah, that's, that's a real problem, but also. For me, it's the same with the Vigan. That's easy. That's easy. I mean, unless you're going to go milsim in the Vigan, it's actually pretty easy. I've maintained a basic knowledge of firing all the weapons, so I got a cheat sheet. I, I got a cheat, really good cheat sheet for the Vigan. That's why. I found that the F-15E is actually pretty, kind of pretty close in how much setup you you do as to the A-10. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Yeah, maybe that's why she's come so natural to me. But with a module that complex, I can only really maintain one in my brain. I'm damn happy. I I have already a guy who won, uh, will be my real on F-4, and I'm happy yeah. that I can so much allocate with him. Roger. So you're going to be a pilot, are you? Mm -hmm. Regards, therefore, I just haven't had a chance to look. Been so busy with baby and stuff. Uh, is it going to be like the Tomcat? You got a, a Jester guy? Yes. Yep. Cool. Jester 2.0 coming. God, we need mm -hmm. voice lines from cab, and when we program a huh. cab for as a as a real. Oh God, yeah, I want that. Uh, can I have a volunteer to lead the formation landing? Well, uh, Simba's over the airfield in the counterclockwise orbit. You know what, the other thing I, I would want? Uh, Gordon Ramsay is saying you donut every time you lose contact on the tanker. Huh. And chef. Oh, the F-35 is still orbiting at the target. Yeah, yeah Grump is at the back. Ah, <laughs> Grump! Remember, Grump has eco-savers. He does have eco-savers. He'll do great gas mileage. And that's important. Mm -hmm. Greta would be proud of him. She would be proud of him. Right, am I head on with Simba? What's going on there? I am... 100% head on. Merge. Guns, guns, guns. Fox 2. Cap, you're not flying your 15. I'm sad. Um, I, I didn't. Because you have to rearm. <laughs> to, you have to rearm to put the delivery on. I didn't want to risk messing my bombs up. I'm not going to put that kind of risk out. That's why you do that beforehand. Yeah, but uh -huh, I'm too stupid uh -huh. for that. Worst Tell merge ever. Well. Sun's going down, viewers, on a lovely day in Iraq slash Syria. Got the boys here. What more do you want? Yeah. What more does a growing boy need? It'd be so much better if you were Scarlett Johansson saying the sun's going down. Huh. How about that, guys? Hello, Fly. You always seem to beat me to it, don't you? Hey. <laughs> well, we've got talking time, guys. How could we have made the time on target better? We did the best we could. That I'm right in saying we don't have any systems on the F-15E to actually make that better. Am I right or am I wrong? I don't remember there being a time on target function. I think you're right. So that's the best we can do then, analog kind of via map. So we can't really make that much better. The Hornet is different. The Hornet has a time on target function so it can tell us when to, you know, do everything, but this doesn't. Normally you would have a staging area that's a little further out. I thought that. So you got more compensation time, right? Well, yeah, you have a staging area. So you stage it at an altitude, you stage, and then you'll basically roughly stage it in airspeed. Yeah. And then they'll give you a hack to commence. And then from there, right. you'll you only have to adjust your airspeed a couple of knots here and there to adjust right. your time on target. So next time I'll do it, I'll give us a 50 mile staging area, 50 miles away. 
maybe even in the same direction. We didn't really need to be on different radials. And we'll hack, we'll do a time hack, we'll say, uh, you know, mission time plus 13, everyone turns in at this speed. And that will help, we can obviously. Just fly it in a formation and drop at the same no, time. No, I want to do it um, either at night or something because I, I like the challenge oh, okay. of trying to get it. I mean, I know we could do that, but um, <laughs> I like the challenge of trying to do it by, you know, math or whatever the word is. Makes it more interesting. Easy there, fly. Yeah, I need to be even slower and I'm almost falling out the area. Uh, Grandpa, you in the right country yet? Yes. Right. How close right are you? you? Right, Simba, uh, do a thing. Come down to about 250 knots. Or Roger. 200 knots. Fly, um, I'll suggest a bit of air brake for us. Grab soft side. Visual. With a smoke. Even that was burnt his engines out. Smoke. All right, if you are on my left side, expect to go slower than 200 knots because you're going to be making a sharper turn. What's the V-min of the F-16, by the way? Just thinking about everyone. Oh, they can, they'll, they'll touch down around 140, 150. We're the fast ones. We're going to be coming in at 170 to 160. All right, starting a left-hand turn to final. All right, viewers, I'm going to padlock my face to the back of Simba's jet. Not look anywhere. Remember, formation of one instrument rule. I'm keeping the same interval as cab, but on the left side. Oh, yeah. Alright, if everybody good is good, we will go gear down in three, two, one. Roger. That was almost tragic. Your flaps aren't oh, down, good. Simba. I didn't call for flaps. Roger. Surely noted. All right, now I'm going flaps in three, two, one. Oh, there's the sun. Uh, well, we've got a few seconds of talking time, guys. In real air forces, they do do formation landings. Why? Isn't it a massive unnecessary risk with no tactical benefit? Oh, uh, it's congested. I would say the... We only have to... Need to bother with uh, a navigation and the other one just fly in with them. It's it dangerous. Has to do, Sorry, has to do with air. It has to do with air traffic control. You can handle a flight of four as one aircraft, as opposed to bringing it four at the same time. Okay. All right, Cap. I'm gonna try and maintain 170, maintain 170 knots with velocity vector no, on the yep. near end no, of the runway. Altitude. Yeah, I'll just belt it myself to you. All right, just remember, guys, no, people in the back, you to touch your wheels no, down quickly altitude. and call that you're on the brakes. Ooh. We 15s, we don't slow down very fast. Have I set toe brakes up on my new pedals? Ooh. All right, chop and throttle. Look at that, viewers. Frigging butter. Oh, yeah. Um, but frigging leave. Leads down. We are Fly getting down. sexy good. Push on brakes. I'm going to try F3. Sorry if I crash. Oh. Cannonball in the All back right, on brakes. Extending. Fly on brake. Extending. Alright, Simba's on brakes. Cap on brakes. Have I bound them? Have I bound them? Yes, I have! Super cab! <laughs> oh, look at my beautiful boys. Perfect formation landing for a near perfect, not quite perfect mission, but a really good, really good one that was. I was happy about that. As we seem to be mill simming the hell out of this, well, not really. We might as well taxi, park up, canopy up. What canopy? Oh, yeah, canopy up. What canopy? Over. Huh? Yeah. Mm. I landed with no shit, canopy. Shit, 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 shit. I've only bound one toe brake. Don't turn, Simba, don't turn. I've only bound one wheel brake. I haven't quite set everything up yet. I'm good. Well, I managed to park, sort of. That's about the best I can do. At least you have a pre-planned excuse. I do have a pre-planned excuse, and I will friggin' use it. Ah, parking brake. Don't do Can you it. Make this fit? I don't pay you enough to hit me. Nice. Oh, yeah. All right, viewers, as you know, we are 100% not a Milsim outfit, so we'll end in Grim Reaper style on three, a full power and eject. One, two, three. Oh, oh, Jesus, a thing happened. Oh, I missed it. God damn it. Nice. Oh, push t on me. What happened, guys? I, a thing happened on my DCS. Hit okay. a ball, went straight As in my As always, plane. we left no incidents of anything happening. That's right. I think that's perfectly acceptable web landing, personally. Call me a weirdo, but... The canopy survived, and look at... Uh, 
dark still going, so all is well. Viewers, I hope you enjoyed that, and bye-bye.